let's make some of the most delicious gooey dark cacao halloween themed cookies these are absolutely incredible and super easy to make if you're looking for a fall dessert for a halloween party or event or dinner or just because this is it right here you will see the ingredients listed on the screen this time i added them in grams so in one bowl you want to gather your dry ingredients as you can see here the flour you can use whatever flour of choice you would like i'm simply using all-purpose flour make sure to spoon and level your flour and weigh it out in grams and then i'm using this special dark hershey's cocoa powder although you can use cacao powder like a rich cacao powder will work as well this is what's going to give the cookies that dark black color which is perfect for halloween right you want the cookies to look black add a dash of salt and then this is optional but you can add a dash of nutmeg i feel like it gives it just a little pop of flavor you know Add in one half teaspoon of baking soda, one half teaspoon of baking powder, and then you want to whisk that all up. Make sure that it is fully mixed up, that all the ingredients are fully incorporated together. As you see me doing right here, you simply just need a whisk to do this. It's very important that you combine your dry ingredients separate from your wet ingredients just to ensure that everything is properly mixed. So that then in a separate bowl you will gather your sugars as you see the ingredients listed here on the screen you have your light brown sugar packed okay and then take out any clumps um, and then you have your white sugar again you can substitute that sugar for any other option if you'd like and then your unsalted butter make sure that it is softened you want the butter to be soft to room temp honestly mine was a little bit melted there but it still worked out but the room temp butter is what's going to give you those gooey cookies you do not want your butter to be too melted okay if your butter is too melted you will have to refrigerate the dough so to avoid that simply just use soften butter then you will need two egg yolks and i'm using this fancy little separator but you don't really need it honestly um, you could just separate it using the eggshell as you will see me do here um, i find that's actually way easier than using this um, tool and then add in your vanilla extract and then take your whisk and you're going to mix this all up you don't need an electric mixer or a hand mixer okay just use your little whisk okay it's going to work perfectly just mix 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 until you don't see the egg yolk anymore and then this is perfect and the wet ingredients are now done do make sure to use a spatula to scrape off the bowl and make sure that you know everything is fully incorporated as you can see what i'm doing here i just want to make sure that i use all of the ingredients okay and so now you're going to add your dry ingredients to your wet ingredients very important that you add it this way and not the other way around using your spatula you will begin to mix okay once again this is not going to take very long long and as you can see me doing this in real time i just sped it up for you but um do not overdo it either okay as you can see here boom i have the perfect consistency this is the consistency that you are looking for you don't want anything too flowery or too watery okay this right here is perfect you can stick your fingers together on the dough and it shouldn't stick to your fingers this is just perfect okay now you have the option to add in chocolate into your dough okay you don't have to if you don't want to okay and you also have the option of choosing what kind of chocolate you would like to add i suggest either adding chocolate chips of your choice vegan or non-vegan you know i mean this recipe isn't even vegan you can add a chopped up chocolate bar of your choice which is what i'm going to do i'm using this baker's chocolate bar for the very first time i love how it turned out i love the taste it was honestly so perfect i usually use that other chocolate bar that i showed you there i usually chop that up for my cookies because it's like my favorite and it's so good but this time i wanted to try something different so yeah just chop it off with the knife this is about the size that you're looking for well a little smaller as you can see here okay it's really up to you it's 
however you'd like. These are the pretty Halloween themed sprinkles that I'm using. Of course, you can use whatever Halloween color or themed sprinkles you find or that you desire, okay? These have like little ghosts and little pumpkins. Very cute, okay? And so then you will add your chocolate chunks. Uh, I didn't add sprinkles into the dough just because they were actually kind of like expensive and I was like, I don't really need them in the dough just the chocolate okay so just fold the chocolate into the dough as you can see me doing here and i am using a very old baking sheet i've put a lot of use into this okay it doesn't matter okay but because it is old i'm just gonna place parchment paper over um and i just suggest doing this even if you have a new baking sheet spray the parchment paper with baking spray just lightly i used a medium cookie scooper and then I added my sprinkles on top of my little dough balls just before placing them in the oven as you can see they're not all sticking right away so you want to roll your little dough ball until all the sprinkles stick to the dough ball very simple but you don't want to waste the ingredients especially these little fancy cute sprinkles are not always the cheapest okay after I did this, I decided to add a little more sprinkles, okay? Because when the cookie bakes, it's going to expand and it looks like a lot of sprinkles, but once it bakes, again, the cookie expands. So the sprinkles go like whoo, all over the cookie, right? And then this is optional again, but you can top off your dough ball with more chocolate chunks or your chocolate chips right before placing it in the oven remember to preheat your oven this is so important don't just put your cookies in the oven don't be impatient you need you must preheat your oven i say this in all of my videos but everyone's oven is slightly different so just test it out start with one cookie ball dough ball put it in the oven test it out for a lower time at first you know start with like eight minutes see if they're cooked all the way if you want them more cooked put them in there again don't eat them raw okay mine turned out perfect for about 10 minutes and this is what i got absolutely delicious these are so easy i'm telling you just follow the recipe exactly how i told you some things may be different if you choose other substitutions such as the sprinkles or the chocolate or the cocoa powder you know but all in all, I know that it's going to turn out super delicious. Comment below if you would like to see any other Halloween or fall recipes. What would you like to see from me and my channel? You know, I'm always in the kitchen baking. And also comment below, subscribe, okay? Please subscribe so I can continue to afford supplies to make these um, cookies. I mean, you subscribing is not going to pay for the ingredients, but you know what I mean? This channel is growing. Comment below if you gave this recipe a try. How did it turn out for you? Were they delicious? Or did this work out for you? Did it not? Do you have any questions or comments? I live out here in the desert, okay? So it wasn't even a rainy day, but I made these on a random day this fall and they're so perfect honestly watching this video i'm craving them i'm so down to go make these cookies again actually a matter of fact this was one of my favorite recipes so far for cookies that's how good they are they turned out so amazing take my word i promise go give this recipe a try subscribe comment below and thank you so much for watching peace